Hey guys, and welcome to Soulmate Saturday. So in today, I thought we'd do a reading to kind of like dive into your relationship in a different way, right? Uh, let's see what's going on that you don't know about, okay? Let's be a little bit snoopy and nosy and figure out what they're not telling us, right? Is there any secrets? What are they hiding? Let's get to the juicy details. What's really going on that you may not know, right? For some of you, this may be, um, you may have that gut feeling or maybe just intuitive insights that like they're hiding something. Stories don't add up, right? There might be something deeper going on. We'll see what goes on in the reading, right? Let's just... um set the intention for what you need to know about your relationship right the good the bad and we'll see what kind of comes out let me give this one more shuffle okay all right so let's start off with three cards to see what's going on okay <laughs> yeah five of inspiration there's definitely a little drama to have some conflict okay hmm it's interesting because the energy I'm feeling for your partner is it's like the ends justify the means with this. So whatever they think they're doing, they might think that they're doing either for your highest best or at least their highest best in the moment. I don't think they know who they're hurting with this though, right? Let's get maybe, yeah, let's get like two more. Okay, we got three more. Okay. Yeah, um... I don't know why I heard lack there of focus when this card came out. So that's interesting. Uh, this is the surprise. Okay, so there is a surprise there. We've got one more card here. Oh, okay, all right. Ten of voices. Better days have come. Okay, actually, I'm going to see about getting maybe one more card for right here. Let's see. And then we're going to pull something flip. No. Okay. Well, then we're going to pull some clarifier so we can dive in even deeper. Okay. Queen of inspiration. Could be another person. Could be a third party situation, right? Oh, yeah. We've got, and listen, we all have masculine and feminine within us, but we've got two females here, right? Or two feminine energies. It doesn't have to be actually females, okay? Oh, why does it feel? One of you, I'm not sure who's side this is on yet, might be left heartbroken I mean, somebody's always obviously going to be the victor oh we might be dealing with a third party situation here let's see okay let's let's dive deeper so we can really figure out what's going on let's clarify this queen of inspiration this kind of feels like you though let me see what we got okay yeah there's the the knight of cups but i don't feel it moving it feels like whatever love offer was happening may not be directed towards you meaning there might be a stalemate in your relationship um it seems like a pause right now that there's a breakup but like oh we were hot and heavy and things were good but it's like oh they don't come out with flowers for me anymore we don't have date night or we're not having sex or whatever it is and it might because of this other person has speak their in piqued their interest i'm not quite sure if they've acted on it yet let's see wow guys look at the other card another queen queen of cups oh my god and knight of cups you're the one who definitely has their heart, but, oh, man, it does feel their actions and their words are not lining up. Oh, my gosh, guys, I can't even make this up. The other card that flipped is a 10 of freaking wands, okay? We have a queen, clarifying the queen, and we've got two 10s jumping out immediately. Wow. They're afraid to come truth, come forward with this. Whatever this, uh, this, um, this 10 is, it feels that they've uh, made a mistake. And they want to come forward to correct it. Let me make sure I can get that into view. Sorry. <laughs> um, but there's a little, uh, ooh, who's got the jealousy in them? Is it you? I don't know. It feels like on the masculine side. They're afraid to come forward with this. There is some regret coming in. Let's clarify the Empress. Yep. Okay. What do we got? Uh, oh my gosh. Another five, guys. Look at this. Five of Pentacles, five of coins, right? Pentacles, five of inspiration, fives are changed, but it does feel lack thereof, right? Okay, let me, we're gonna get all the cards out. I haven't even jumped in the reading, guys, so I'll just hold on a second. We're still processing, and you guys might still be processing. Actually, it feels like they're processing, right? What to do, steps next, right? What What are they gonna do? Clarify this five of inspiration. Okay, I love it. We've got two cards. Okay, you guys, another queen, a queen of wands. Standstill energy. What's this other card? 
Oh my God. So Queen of Inspiration, Queen of Wands, same cards. There's a third party. Yep, Three of Wands. Okay. It's bypassing somebody's feelings. They're afraid to afraid to hurt somebody's feelings. It doesn't feel like you. It almost feels like it's a side piece. But they're afraid to hurt their feelings. Why aren't they breaking it off? I don't feel there's love there. It feels like you're the one they love. But they're spending their time with their... I'm going to say side, side piece in air quotes because... I don't, I don't know. They're spending their time with somebody else, right? But it's almost like that emotional mental cheating. I don't know if they've crossed the boundary yet, though. I don't know if they've crossed the line. Let's clarify this Knight of Pentacles. Oh, this is like a tower moment. Oh, guys, hold on. Let's clarify this Knight of Inspiration. There it is. Two of Pentacles. Okay. Yeah, we're going back. Let me get a couple more. Oh my God, guys, another freaking 10. We've got three 10s on the board, 10 of Pentacles. But who's this win or lose energy? That's what I heard what it just came out with. Wow, why do I feel they might walk away? Because they feel they lost a chance with you. Is that after the confession? Let me see. Oh, I like that it came out as confession. You didn't catch them red-handed. Let's clarify this 10 of voices. Oh, wow. It's like it almost got away with it for six months. Okay, wow. Guys, I swear to God, I didn't even see that card because I was just like, oh my God, they got away with it for six months, meaning they like mentally, emotionally checked out maybe for six months and that's when they carried somebody on as a fling. But I'm like, I'm not sure if they pr uh, pursued them sexually. That's why I was like, I'm not sure how many boundaries or lines they crossed. However, it does feel like that emotional cheating, right? They weren't there. Maybe they've been checked out for six months. And the card came out and I saw the cups and I was like, oh yeah, you know, six of cups, soulmate. That's definitely what it means. I'm like, that's on your side, but check it out. Literally, I got the download. I heard spirits say six, of, six months right when the six of cups came out, right? Let's get another one. Um, okay, all right. Oh, a couple of them. Oh, guys, I don't know if I did that on camera. Sorry. <laughs> I was like so into it. I wasn't even paying attention. Guys, what do you mean? This is so insane. Another six, six of swords. There's that walking away. I told you it was an ending, right? Let's put these two sixes together. Check this out, though. There's another five. We've got three fives. Fives are changing. Oh, God. There's an isolation energy with that. Okay, there's the justice. Justice. There's the karmic scales. Okay, I clearly see what's going on here. Let me make sure I can get these in. They're on the camera view. All right, here's what I'm feeling is happening, right? Oh, it's like all crooked. Sorry, guys. Okay. Yeah, I moved the camera, like, mess it up. Okay, here's what's going on, right? You meet them at whatever point. I can't see too far back, but the relationship's fine. The relationship's good. And at some point, it took a turning point, right? And that's why I talked about, like, things aren't moving forward. It's like, oh, we stopped going on dates. We stopped communicating. We stopped talking. We sleep on separate quarters. Like, some energy of, like, it's almost the energy I feel. is like we live together, but we're not. It's like we're, we're friends, we're partners, we're not intimate anymore, right? There's some kind of standstill where it's like the, or the disconnect. That's what it feels like in the relationship, okay? So there's that wandering eye and somebody starts to maybe communicate with somebody else. Could be a co-worker, friend, somebody that they have like maybe something in common interest. It could have started out as boredom because um, maybe you weren't around or maybe they weren't around. But whatever it was, it did develop and mature into a little bit more of Feelings is interesting because I was about to say romantic feelings, but again, I think that the, whoever this was, that I'm going to say cheater in air quotes because I haven't got into exactly what they're doing yet. Spirit hasn't told me, but again, it feels like wandering eyes. It's innocent. It's just talking, it's flirting, getting some attention and some affection and they like it. No boundaries even crossed at this point, right? There's definitely another feminine involved, right? We've got two feminine energies here. Well, how many queens we got? Look at it. There's your Look at how many queens we got. I can't even, guys. There's too many people involved in this relationship. There could all be also be some bad advice. Somebody coming in as a third-party situation. Not romantically. Could be a parent, a friend, somebody coming in with some advice. But I'm telling you, there is another romantic interest here. I don't feel they've really crossed the lines, but they're guilty conscious. They feel that they've crossed the line. I think that when you hear about it, you're going to say, that's too far. At this point... It, 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 I'm kind of seeing it mapped out, right? And so I can kind of see how it moves. And I think there is a point where there's at least one night or one day or one conversation where boundaries get crossed, right? I'm not sure how far it is taken. These are general. So for some of you guys, there might have been a full on, oh my God, they had the one night stand, the slept with somebody, or it's just we kissed. It what, Here's the energy I'm feeling inside of me. So this is how I'm going to relate it. It's like, whoa, we've, for like six months, I've, I've, I've played with fire, I've flirted, and I've got the attention and affection, I've texted, and I crossed that emotional cheating boundary, right? Within one night, 
I crossed the line and I kissed that person. And then immediately I regret it. Immediately I know I made a mistake. Immediately I want to go back and fix it with my partner, right? That's the energy I'm feeling of what's happening with your partner. Like they made a mistake and I think that they felt guilty for at least the last five months. I don't think the first month of this going on, it was still rather innocent there. I don't think it was anything for you to worry about. But those next like four to five months, their their conscience were like, I know I shouldn't be doing this, but they hadn't really crossed that physical sexual boundary line, right? It does feel at one point they will cross it further into this um, talking, I'm going to say talking in air quotes, relationship with whatever's going on with this other party, because now that they've either kissed or done something romantically that it's like, oh man, I made a mistake. Okay. Uh, this is really weighing on them. I, what I see in my mind's eye is somebody pacing back and forth. Do I tell them? How do I tell them what's going to happen? And they're so worried of your response that it does feel it's interesting because they were so worried of your response before when it was so innocent that you guys could have got through it. But it's like this honestly feels like I want to go spill my beans and I want to tell you everything, right? So something happens. There is a conversation. It doesn't feel like you caught them cheating, right? For some of you, like I talked in the beginning, I want to snoop. I can't get in the phone. What's happening? I'm trying to read the emails or check the Facebook or like, I know they're up to something. Tell me what's happening in this reading. It's, that's the energy I was feeling in the beginning. Very like nosy snooping. And that's why I wanted to do this reading because I was starting to feel that already. So you guys already have suspicions that something's off. Or maybe there's just like you guys aren't having sex in the relationship. So you guys, okay, if you're not having sex with me, who are you having sex with? That type of energy. It's like a dry spell, right? That's what I was feeling here, okay? Second they cross that physical boundary, though, and they kiss or sleep with whatever happens, I'm telling you, this guilt eats them up. It does feel more of a confession rather quickly. And when I say quickly, it does feel in 30 days. I don't think you'll be happy that you had to wait three days or two days or two weeks or whatever it is, right? But it does feel sooner rather than later because it kind of eats up at them. It almost is the energy. And I don't know if this is quite right, but it's like, I'm feeling, I, I feel I need to say this, but I feel like you only resonate with a few of you. I don't think all of you will relate with this. It's almost like I had to get the courage to tell you, so I had a couple of drinks and then I spilled the beans. However, I don't necessarily know if that relates with all of you. It does feel there's somebody that needed to hear that part. However, there is a spilling of beans energy or at the very least, it could be you, you question them about it and then they're like, fine, it was me, I did it, that type of energy. They might be too much of a coward and chicken to tell you. But I'm telling you, when the conversation happens, because they are, spirit is highlighting conversation to me. So you could just ask them straight up. I feel like at that four or five, six month mark, they would just spill the beans. So whatever makes them tell you, they're going to tell you, okay? I kind of see the uh, you sitting there with your arms crossed, like you don't want to hear it because you kind of knew it. Kind of like silent treatment response. I don't think you're going to give them a silent treatment. You feel like that's your response and you don't know what to say, even though you're expecting it, right? It's interesting because the next, if I, I'm trying to tap into this like a movie because that's what I feel is mapped out to me. It feels the next two to three weeks as I tap into your energy here, I'm in brain fog. So to me, that tells me this was a shock to your system, right? And you're still processing. And so maybe you've taken a step out of the relationship. If you live together, I'm not sure if you moved out for a few weeks or asked them to leave for a few weeks. I see a hotel for some of you, right? But there's this brain fog. I totally feel it. And it's processing what to do now. I will tell you this. With all those fives, I'm telling you, you're the one they love, okay? If they've cheated, I don't condone cheating, right? I'm not saying you should take them back. I'm not saying you should not. We have free will. Do what's best for you. If you guys have kids, if you're married, if you live together, whatever your situation is, you know what's best. That was what was coming up. That gut feeling, I think they're cheating, or the intuition, like you know your relationship. But what I just feel like, there's a secret. What are they hiding? They have this... This, this other party, right? It could be third party, mistress, mister, something, whatever you want to say. However, it, it's eating up at them. There is a final abrupt ending. Here's the thing. Uh, the surprise that you're going to get is you find out what you've um, thought all along or felt all along is true. And that's going to cause some ending. It takes you to take some step back. It does feel like I said two to three weeks. Somebody's at a hotel or somebody, there's some distance energy, right? Where we're not communicating. And maybe we're just not talking if you guys aren't living together. But I'm telling you. With the Six of Cups, which is Soulmate, and Six of Swords, it does feel a final decision is made. If if I'm tapping into the cheater's energy, and I'm going to call them a cheater, it does feel that they do choose you. They do want to walk away from this, and they do want to come back to you. They don't know how. I feel groveling energy. I want to come back and say I'm sorry. I want to come back and make things right. What it does feel like in the long term, this feels long term result, long term outcome. What happens the final, 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 final outcome with you guys? 
I do feel the scales will be tipped in your favor and you guys will work this out, but it's a little bit of a rocky start going forward. And like I said, we do, listen, we all have free will. So for some of you, you might totally walk away and say, I'm done. But I'm telling you, if not 99% of you are probably going to get back with them at some point. That's why I was like highlighted that you guys might be married, you might have kids. And listen, that's never a reason to just stay with the person, but it does feel there's a bigger picture at play here and i'm not exactly sure what that is there might be a lesson for you to learn on a soul level but something does bring you back to them because as much as i'm like isolated alone you might take a step back a step back that's them sitting in their remorse and all their guilt and stuff it does i do feel it coming together but there is a pause and a break period of separation here i'm not sure if they're completely out of your life but i'm telling you with the justice it feels like as that little movie map thing i'm seeing as the final outcome and again it, it's like you guys are definitely back. I don't know if I want to... Uh, I was about to say by like nine months, you guys are definitely um, back living together. And I don't want to say quite stable because it's like a work in progress every day, every day, every day. So, and I was a little hesitant with that because then my mind started to go, okay, well, they find out a six months. That mean they're on a three month break. That didn't feel right. Again, the nine that I was just seeing in my mind's eye might just signify we're that close to closing out a chapter because look at how many tens we have, right? One, two three we've got three tens right and so tens close it out and so the nine i just saw in my mind's eye maybe it was not nine months but it could have been like nine we're so close to closing this out like i said there will be a peaceful resolution this person will make peace with their conscious and make it up to you in some way even if they don't get back together you guys don't get back together there will be an amends made on both you guys where it's like a uh, a peaceful treaty. I don't know why they just told me those words because I feel like that's not how you would describe a romance, but that's the two words I just heard in my head. So it feels like at some point, and it might just be a peaceful uh, way of separating, but I don't feel this person is uh, separated completely from you. That's why I'm like some of you that may be the father or mother of your kids. So even if you don't get back together, there's st what it feels like there's still some entanglement, right? I see you two talking, communicating, stable back together at some point, whether that's just we're co parenting. Or something or some they're still there that's why I feel for the most of you you guys are getting back together but they're not leaving your life this soul contract is not done they had to walk away and choose you and make the decision figure out some stuff on their own they need to be alone for a little bit to figure something out and I'm telling you 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 are tugging at their heartstrings they're you're the one they want to be with they're not done with you the question is are you done with them and how will you choose to go forward right so I think that's something you'll have to evaluate and, you know, ponder and meditate on the best steps for you going forward. But I see them in your life or long term, whether you get back together or not. It could just be, you know, we have kids or something together. They're still there. I still see them there. And this is like past the nine months of this, right? Whether it's nine months after cheating or nine months since this happened. Again, they're highlighting the nine. So I have to go with it, right? If spirit shows me the images that many times, I have to go with what I feel and what I see, right? Okay. So yeah, there is some coming together. Even if it's just a peaceful resolution. Um, because there's soul ties with this, right? And it's a mistake. They, they recognize it as a mistake. How you choose to go forward is up to you, okay? All right, guys. All right, my heart goes out to you if you guys are going through this. I am so sorry for any grief pain you guys are going through. Healing energy is being sent to you and your heart chakra and your family and filling you with love and light, okay? And if you guys get anything out of this reading, do me a favor and hit that thumbs up button. This way I know you got something and it resonated. If you guys haven't already subscribed to my channel, make sure you hit the subscribe button. And there's a bell too. I want you to hit the bell and turn on all notifications because I do daily videos and I don't want you guys to miss out on any upcoming messages. The next message just might be the message that you need to hear today. All right, my loves, till next time, be blessed.